Okay, how about the BFF8HP by Bofang or Pofung? Or you see here it says Pofung Bofang. <laughs> you take your pick. Um, the question is 8 watts of power. Is it really 8 watts? Is it worth the, your time to get the uh, this radio as opposed to uh, one of the standard HTs? Now I'm not going to do a real intense review on this because it is essentially uh, fit form and function, especially function, the same as the UV5R, which I've already done a video on. But we want to see the 8 watts. I don't know. Let's let's compare. So what I've got here is I've got my uh, HYS. HYS, if you've never heard of them, um, I've done a video on this radio. It's a pretty good radio. It's not bad. They're they're not real mainstream, but you can find them. I also have the uh, the standard Osan radio that's been very popular. And then here in the middle, I've got the uh, BF F8HP. And what I'm going to do for comparison is I'm going to hook each of these radios uh, with this little cable gizmo here. Oop, there we go. Caught by the microphone. Um, up to my uh, VHF, UHF, SWR meter. And we'll just kind of see what the, what the power looks like uh, coming out of the different radios. So let me uh, readjust the camera so you can get a better view and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so first up is the uh, the HYS, and I've got this on the uh, the calling frequency 146.520, and let's just see what we get here on the uh, the old watt meter AF5DN. That looks like about four watts, which is uh, pretty typical of what I would expect. Let me switch over to the uh, the Oson. All right, so I've switched over to the uh, the Oson radio. Uh, again, got it on the same calling frequency, and let's see uh, what we're getting here. AF5DN. All right, looks like on that guy we got almost five watts. Let me try that again. <clears throat> let's take a better look. AF5DN. Yeah, a little more than four, like maybe 4.8. Hmm, that's that's uh, interesting. Okay, let's uh, let's switch to the Bofang. All right, so we're switched over to the uh, the uh, Bofang. Man, there's some glare on that thing. Switched over to the Bofang, and as you can see on there on the screen, that little H. I've got this on high power. Uh, let's see what this little guy does here. Boy, I get nothing. What's up with that? Must have something connected up here wrong, obviously, right? All right, I'm, oop, I bounced it here. I think I'm starting to have some problem with this uh, little radio. I have switched it to low power. Low, see the little L there? And on low power, AF5DN, you can see I get one watt, which is what I would expect. Now, without changing anything on the cabling, I'm going to press number menu, and two is for power, and menu to select, and up to mid, menu exit. I'm now on medium power. Let's key up here. AF5DN. All right, a medium power. You see, I hit about five watts, which is actually pretty respectable. Maybe a little bit more uh, than the Oson. However, let me uh, let me kick this up again here. I'm going to go to menu two menu up to high menu exit. 
Now I'm on high. AF5DN. I get nothing. Just a little flick there on the meter. <laughs> All right, just to show you what a real radio will do, I switch back over to the TS2000 on the sub channel. Here's 20 watts. Wow, 20 watts. Let's do something really crazy. Kick this bad boy over to the 300 watt range. Maybe we can fry some birds. AF5DN. Wow, 50 watts. <laughs> wow, okay, that for uh, that for me was an interesting test. Um, <laughs> the question becomes, is this radio defective or is that typical for uh, this particular model, the BF-H8P? Um, so in my scenario, I didn't get 8 watts out of it. The most I could get was uh, 5 watts on medium. And I really didn't get anything on high power, which is uh, uh, quite perplexing, actually. So if you have one of these radios and you can perform a, a similar test, uh, please do so and put some comments on this video and let me know what your results are. Um, and that's kind of interesting. I'm going to do a little bit more investigation and then uh, I may uh, have a follow-up video to let you know what I found out on this little guy. So at this point in time, this is no, more, no better than the UV5R for me because I can't get 8 watts out of it. Most I can get is 5. So that's it for this video. I will try to follow up. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave, AF5DN.